Hello guys, this is Snizzle and welcome back to Guild Wars 2. As I promised, I wanted to show you the uh, crystal pads um, when I found the water and uh, actually I found a lake. It was pretty easy, I was just too dumb to find it the first time. And here's the underwater combat master. This we are now from Guild Wars 1. Let's talk to him, what does he say? There are underwater test dummies. The underwater master stars, stares at you blank, he sniffs once and then looks away. Tart. Okay, go into the water and you see it switches immediately to this fucking huge fish. Uh, it's called the armor fish and it's huge and you see why he has this name. Wow, he's really he's really cool, really. Okay, look at him, how he attacks. He got the skills, uh, rush at the foe and stun them. Uh, bite your foe, apply protection to yourself, chomp your foe to deal damage and heal yourself. And so let's look how he uses the first skill. Okay, that was it. And uh, I got pretty cool skills underwater too, like uh, this one. And uh, this one. Okay, although this fish is fucking huge and looks badass, let's go on to the next. I, this is the uh, blue jellyfish. Um, it has the following skills. Uh, first attack here. It has the following skills. Wall your tentacles, chilling the foe you strike. Slash your foe. Release a cloud of mist that grants regeneration to you and your allies. And blind uh, foes near you are target with a dark claw. Let's try if he uses his attacks. Come on. No, he don't want to use its skills, I don't know why. Nah, I don't want to do this way. Um, yeah, let's look at the other pets. I think the jellyfishes look all the same, so uh, there's just a shark left. Um, where is it? There's a shark. And let's look if we can get another jellyfish to do what we want. So, here's the shark. Looks pretty cool too. He has the skills uh, enter a frenzy, attack fast, and bleed at each hit, which is pretty cool, I think. He attacks like this then. I can buff him with Rampage as one, two. And uh, then bite your foe, causing them to bleed. Uh, charging bite, charge your foe, strike him multiple times, and causing them to bleed and make your foe flee in fear. Wow, he's look how fast he is with Rampage as one and how fast I am with Rampage as one. This is cool. This skill is pretty nice. And yeah, this were uh, the underwater pets. The jellyfishes look all the same. They got different skills. I can show you them if you want. Um, here's the green jellyfish, which has a skill now it has the same skill as the other one. They are very beautiful, but um, as you see, they have no brain and uh, they are not reacting to what you're doing. I think okay. He, now he attacks. That's okay. That's okay. But uh, if you see, he will not use this, and I don't know why. Okay, never mind. Let's see, um, let's look at the other jellyfish and let's look how a few uh, um, terrestrial or acoustic pets better um, look underwater. Um, here's the last jellyfish and then we can look at this uh, naked thing. Uh, yeah, here we are. This is the red jellyfish. It has hazards and sense goals. Um, this is a bit different, I guess. Okay. Um, yeah, he attacks, but uh, I don't know. I don't like the jellyfishes too much. They are not, uh, are not really doing what you say, and uh, if you say "isy," they don't look cool while attacking too. Okay, let's switch the uh, pad, and now we have this fugly pad, which is. Uh, Acroistic and so can um, swim underwater. Okay, he do 
doesn't use his attack skill underwater too. Maybe because it is range or something and he can't use something like this underwater or he's just dumped again or the game sling, I don't know. Well, <laughs> maybe the jellyfishes would work. Uh, I'd land, but uh, you can't use them there. So, this is stupid. Okay, now I can change. Can I change now? Let's see this and what's cool? Um, a devourer. Let's look at de uh, how a devourer acts underwater. My pay can't swim. That sucks. Okay, he's a devourer. He looks uh, underwater. He looks like he would be um, his element. That's cool. Okay, he can. He's still range underwater. As I am range too, with this. Can I, uh... Okay, I got other cool weapons too. And, uh, yeah. Let's, uh... Change the pet again. To this, uh... Salamander Drake. Um... Okay, um... You see, he, uh, ha has changed the skill. On um, land, he could. Uh, he had a fire breath, and here he actually uh, can boil the water. This makes sense, really. It's cool. Wow, look at this. That looks cool. The other uh, skills are the same. And yeah, uh, this is everything about uh, the pets in Guild Wars 2 uh, or that are, these are all the pets in Guild Wars 2 I think there are many packs uh, I can't tell you because I don't know them um, one thing, um, this interface with all the pets is not just in um, PvP it's the same in PvE so uh, you won't need um, something like the um, Session Menagerie in Guild Wars 1 uh, you just can um, charm a pet with uh, the skill uh, interacting with the world without it. Uh, it's I don't know what it's uh, normally. I put it on E uh, because I do uh, this in every game. And um, yeah, uh, you can just charm them, and then you you can just have the, uh, this equi uh, both equipped. So you can uh, so you can do this, but. Um, you are uh, out of combat, you can um, switch between the pads, between all the pads you ever kept, and uh, you don't lose them. You don't need to give them away if you want to charm another one, you uh, keep them all. Okay, um, that's from me, thanks for watching, and uh, goodbye.